A lot of people will tell you that you shouldn't live with regret. A lot of people will tell you that you shouldn't dwell on the past and that there's things that you can't change. I have a lot of videos where I kind of talk about some of my regrets and things that I did when I was younger, wasting time playing video games or just, you know, wasting time doing dumb stuff like drinking and drugs and just wasting my youth and my good years. And I get a lot of comments where people kind of say like, no, if it's time enjoyed, it's not time wasted. But the truth is, I don't feel that way. Now, as I'm older and I realized how much of that time was actually wasted and it wasn't enjoyed, after spending a whole night playing video games, I would just feel sad and empty. And all I had to show for it was maybe my World of Warcraft character went up a level or I got another level on my prestige in Call of Duty. And that is just kind of a shitty feeling and I regret a lot of that stuff. I regret a lot of that time wasted. I think regret is a great motivator. I think if you have a lot of stuff that you didn't get done and you feel shitty about, you should dwell on that a little bit. You should. You shouldn't just say, ah, you know, whatever, I had fun doing it. You should actually think about it and analyze it and really think like, did I have fun or do I just think I was having fun because it was just a certain time in my life where that was just all I knew how to do and that was just what I was doing and that was just the person I was because honestly I sit back now and I know I can't change any of it but the fact that I know I can't change any of that and the fact that I regret it is the reason why I work so hard now because I don't want to feel this way in five or ten years from now. I don't want to look back and feel the same regret that I feel now at almost 40 because I know that when 50 comes around and I look back, I want to be able to say I did everything I could do to get to where I wanted to be now. From 20 to 28, I was just wasting time. I was just wasting my life. I was hurting my health. I was drinking and smoking and gaming and going out and wasting money. And even though I may have had some really, really fun times, half of the stuff I don't remember because I was under the influence of something. And all that time I spent gaming, I have nothing to show for it. I have some character in a database somewhere that I don't play anymore. I spent so much time leveling up that character and not leveling up myself that now I look back and I'm just like, damn it. And I'm glad that I recognize that now. And I'm glad that I have that regret because that regret makes me realize how much more I need to appreciate the time that I have now because I don't want to feel this way again. Funny story, when I was about 21 years old, I got a tattoo, a massive tattoo, a huge tattoo. And it's such a douchey tattoo. It hurts so bad. It's all over my ribs. I spent a few hours on the chair getting that work done. I never went back and got it finished. I regretted my no regrets tattoo. That's my credo, no regrets. Mm -hmm. You have no regrets? Dad? No, like not even a single letter. And now I look at it and it's, it's so stupid. It's so dumb. It's hilarious. And it's a good representation of the person that I was when I was 22 or 23 years old. And now that I'm in my late 30s and I look back and I think about getting this tattoo done and I think about my mindset when I was getting it done and I was totally like, oh, you know, I'm young. I'm not going to regret any of the stuff that I do. And I just remember while I was getting this tattoo done, there was an older tattoo artist that worked there that was talking to me. And I remember him saying that he had a lot of regrets and there was a lot of things that he wished that he could change and go back and do different. And at the time I was just so young and dumb that I didn't realize the wisdom that he was trying to bestow upon me. And now looking back, I totally see it. But when you're younger, you just don't think about stuff like that. I believe I enjoyed my life when I was that age. But looking at back now, I think I could have enjoyed it a lot more. And I do regret a lot of the things that I did. You're going to have regrets in your life. And I think that regrets are good. They show you that you've grown as a person. They show you that you've moved on and have become something else. It's good to change. It's good to improve. It's good to not have the same outlook and the same mentality all the time. We should always be focusing on improving and becoming a better version of ourselves. We should always look back five or ten years and feel that we were dumb and stupid back then. And we should regret a lot of the mistakes that we feel that we've made so that we don't make them again. So that we know better the next time around. So we know that we should try to do better and be better. And of course, you're always going to have some regrets. Hopefully your regrets make you have better intentions and make you 
a better person in the long run. And if you sit back and don't improve on the things that you can improve and just live with regret without doing anything, then you're not using regret in the right way. Use it as a motivator because I think that if we focus on some of the things that we've done poorly in the past and use those experiences in our life to improve our future and improve our relationships and improve ourselves to become better people and have less regrets, then that's the best way to use regret. Dwell on it enough to help you improve, but don't sit around wishing that you could change the past because you can't do that. You can only make yourself a better person in the future. All right, with all that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.